What's up, gamers? I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Thursday, February 8th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Disney's investing $1.5 billion into Epic Games. A bigger universe is being promised from both companies. They have sent out a statement saying that they want to make a place where you can play, watch, shop, and engage all in one place. From Star Wars to Pixar to Marvel to Fortnite, two of the biggest names around the world are under one umbrella now, and I believe that nothing but magic will come from this investment. Overwatch 2 teases an anime crossover of a famous anime from the past. Cowboy Bebop might be coming to the game after a certain tease from the latest season trailer that's coming out February 13th. At the end of the trailer, a tumbleweed transitioned into a radio playing the theme from Cowboy Bebop. We'll just have to wait and see what that ending was about. A hiccup from the marketing side of GameStop has already added more fuel to the already crazy Xbox deals happening this week. GameStop tweeted out, come play Microsoft Game Pass on a special demo day. That part that blew up was the tweet was written, come play Microsoft Game Pass, not Xbox Game Pass. It's always been Xbox Game Pass, which carries a lot of weight to the name, but it sounds more like it's a software shift which was what I was speaking about yesterday. I can't wait to see what happens next week and what this brings for the gaming community. Marvel Spider-Man 2 is getting New Game Plus on March 7th. Alongside with New Game Plus, we will be getting more costumes. They teased in the tweet that there will be more than just New Game Plus and additional costumes by saying, watch our social media for a complete list of features closer to the release date. I hope they add some new game modes like Horde Mode or something as crazy as Valhalla DLC for God of War 2. The hits from Microsoft just keep on coming. Press Start has an article out about the layoffs happening in the Xbox ecosystem of developers. From what they have gathered, around 1,900 employees were laid off across Xbox studios including Activision and Bethesda. Now we're getting reports that they will be shutting down Toys for Bob, the studio that makes Spyro, Skylanders, and worst of all, Crash Bandicoot. There's still plenty of news to come as Xbox seems to be going on the downward spiral and I will be here to bring you as much news as I can gather. Another great article from Press Start is the story of how a dream port was supposed to come to PS5 and PC. It sucks because the project to do so was cancelled. With such a big love for the game and the community with thousands of art, games, shorts, movies and shows that people made in dreams on PS4, it's sad to see it left behind to be stuck on PS4 format forever. To read more about it, head to Press Start's website. A new update for Starfield on PC has dropped. It's mostly a stability and graphics update to make sure that we get the most out of all the new graphics cards that have come out in the last two months. In the update, we get support for FSR3, XESS, and fixed clouds that seem to be vibrating in the sky. There are four more changes added to the update. To see those, head over to Starfield's Reddit account or their blog to see the rest of the update. And finally, Atlas has a big hit on their hands with Persona 3 Reload. It became the fastest selling game ever for the studio. They have reached 1 million copies sold in the first week. Persona joins Power World, Enshrouded, and Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth as the top selling games of 2024. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Mm.